What is going on guys? Welcome to your 23rd Java game development tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about sprites and I'm not talking about the soda pop I'm talking about a moving animation. Now we already made the type of animation where there is pretty much a single image and it just changes image and depending on how you change it it gives the appearance of an animation like a face just standing in one place blinking or um, a guy standing there waving his arm but what if we wanted to have like a ball on a screen and have it move around the screen well there's two different types of animation the first one we already learned is called static an animation that stay stays in the same place on your screen and what we're going to be building a sprite is a dynamic animation or in other words an image that moves around your screen like um like pong like the ball and pong so let's go ahead and we'll begin coding it. I made a new class called Sprite, and this is going to be a lot easier than our animation class. We already pretty much got everything built. But first, in our Sprite class, we need a couple things. Instead of just like a single image moving around our screen, what I am going to be building is the animation, the guy with his eyes blinking, and he's going to be not only blinking, but he's going to be blinking and moving around the screen at the same time. So we're going to need to use that animation. So private animation, and we'll just name it A. And what we're going to be doing is saying, all right, we want a sprite to move around on the screen. And then it says, all right, what do you want to use as a sprite? And we're going to say, we want to use this guy blinking. So that's where that animation comes in. And uh, we need four more variables after this. We need the position of the sprite, which is going to be changing every time it loops. And this is private float x. And you don't want ints because when you're working with pixels, you don't want it to, sometimes you don't want it to move an entire pixel every time. So what if like only in 10 seconds you wanted it to move one pixel? Well, you would have it move a tenth of a pixel every time. So that's how you do that. So private float x to get the x positioning of the sprite or whatever it is on the screen private float y to get the y positioning and you need two more which is the velocity of x and the velocity of y so this x and y is positioning you should know how much how many pixels over how many pixels down the velocity is the speed pretty much velocity is actually distance over time i believe but what the what we need to tell it not only where to go but how fast to move and the velocity of x is how fast left and right should i be moving and how fast up and down should i be moving and uh well you'll see once we start programming those but that's what these variables mean so the first thing that we need is a constructor so let's just go ahead and type constructor right there Did they spell it wrong and eh, good enough and then go ahead public i named my class sprite just like that and as a parameter it's going to take that animation object in other words as your parameter tell what animation do you want to use animation a and what you need to do is set this dot a equal to a and what this means is whatever object you're referring to it's a is equal to a so this is from whatever object is calling it which we don't really know right now but it's going to set its a right here equal to whatever object we passed it in and um that's well that you should not know how to use the this keyword by now but that's how you do it it takes uh this um whatever object and sets it equal to the object we passed in easy enough so let's go ahead and after this what we want to do is we need every time um, this method gets called called update it's going to move the position of the sprite because that's what sprites are all about it's not just a single object or excuse me a single image that chills in your one place on your screen the whole time it's an image that moves around your screen so in order for your image to move around you need to change the positioning of it so in order to do that let's go ahead and put change position and make sure you spell that like that and we'll name this public void update 
and it's going to change its position based on the time that has passed and remember we already calculated this in another class so long time passed and how can we calculate the position based on time passed well first let's do the x positioning x the positioning is equal to the speed of x times time passed so although this may be confusing let me try to explain it to you guys now remember velocity is pretty much I know it's a little bit different but it's pretty much the same thing as speed so say you wanted your animation to move an inch a second so this is your speed one inch per second right here and if the time that passed we passed it in one second then it says alright add one inch to X so if your velocity was an inch per second and you only um, passed in half a second then X would say alright I'm only gonna increase half an inch so that's pretty much how that works so once we figure that brilliant idea out just copy that and change these to Y's same thing for Y Y positioning no, excuse me that's the velocity of Y there we go and after we do all that what else can we do with time passed we need to a dot update time passed and what this does is take the time passed and calculate where in your animation you should be so this calculates where on your screen that image should be should be in the top left corner bottom right that's what this does in your animation update when you call this method remember we built a method in um, your animation class that says all right according to the time should my guys eyes be open should they be closed should I restart my animation where in my animation is that so that's all you get for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're gonna be building really simple stuff a bunch of get methods to get the position set the velocity stuff like that but um, just don't skip over it because it's kind of important but we're we are well on our way to animating sprites so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.